Does that guy who ran on the field have a case, or does he give up his rights as soon as he trespasses? What would you tell him if he came to you? So I got to tell you, John, I don't think he gives up his rights. I mean, um, you know, he was definitely on the field where he wasn't supposed to be, but he was not an imminent danger to anybody. And basically, this guy just basically decked him. I mean, that right. guy needs to get a scholarship to somewhere because I don't <laughs> I think, know, like, I mean, that guy just came out of nowhere and flattened him. And then if you continue to watch the video, so did the guy after him, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, when you really Yeah, there were two security guards chasing him. Exactly. Good, and then after point. that, there was four people. So in all reality, obviously, I'm a Trojan. It happened, you know, at the Rose Bowl. So if the guy's calling me, I'm like, this happened at the UCLA field. I'm taking your case <laughs> anyways. And ultimately, at the end of the day, this guy, you got to look at the surroundings of what was going on. There was four security guards that were within the vicinity. Could they have stopped him? Yes. Did they have to deck him? I don't know how badly he's injured. If he's badly injured, he's going to have a personal injury case. Is he huh. going to be partially at fault? Absolutely. Is he going to get paid? Absolutely. And I think you that's kind of where. Yeah. Huh. Oh, I, I believe okay. that is the thing about that. How they just they, they divide up blame percent by percentage. Right? For sure. Like your blame pie, John. That's an actual legal thing. Yes, it is. It they is. say this is 60 percent your fault and 40 percent our fault. So here's you get two million dollars, which means you get 40 percent of that. Something exactly. Like that, right. And you said that correct. And, and sometimes based on the injuries that if he you know, if he has a broken hip, if this guy has a broken shoulder and his, you know, his his case may be worth five hundred thousand dollars, go ahead and reduce sixty percent from it. Now that I'm talking to you in terms of legal sort of analysis. Now, if I'm over there and I'm standing on the sideline and someone's running at me, do I want somebody to completely take them out so they don't get to me? Absolutely. But we are living in a world where these are all very real stuff. And no matter even if he's 100% at fault, there will be a lawsuit and there will be a settlement.